What causes chemical pollution? Chemical pollution occurs when chemicals resulting from human activities enter the environment, contaminating air, water or soil. Acid rain, greenhouse gases and ozone are all examples of chemical pollution. Dispose of toxic chemicals properly. Household solvents, pesticides, and cleaners might not seem that bad. But, bleach, paint, paint thinner, ammonia, and many chemicals are becoming a serious problem. If you combine millions of people every month dumping toxic chemicals down the drain or flushing them down the toilet, the effects add up. This is why proper disposal is important. Many household chemicals can be recycled. Your community may have a recycling center that can take the old paint, used motor oil, and other chemicals and recycle them. Community collection centers and drop-off sites also exist in some areas. Your community may even have a hazardous waste collection day where those toxic old chemicals can be dropped off for safe disposal. What causes chemical pollution in water? Chemical water pollution. Industrial and agricultural work involves the use of many different chemicals that can run off into water and pollute it. Metals and solvents from industrial work can pollute rivers and lakes, runoffs of these pesticides can cause water pollution and poison aquatic life. How does chemical pollution affect humans? Chemical pollution can affect animals, including humans, when ingested, breathed in or absorbed through the skin. Short-term exposure to some chemical pollutants can impair the immune, endocrine and reproductive systems. Pollutants may cause lesions, alter liver function or darken the skin. What are four major chemical pollutants? Carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, volatile organic compounds, vox, particulates, nitrogen oxides, ozone, chlorofluorocarbons, unburned hydrocarbons and lead and heavy metals. Is pollution a chemical change? Chemical pollution is also seen in the air. The burning of fossil fuels, such as coal, oil and natural gas, release chemical pollutants into the atmosphere. How do we control pollution? 1. Reduce the number of trips you take in your car. 2. Reduce or eliminate fireplace and wood stove use. 3. Avoid burning leaves, trash, and other materials. 4. Avoid using gas-powered lawn and garden equipment. How many chemicals are in our environment? EPA has more than 85,000 chemicals listed on its inventory of substances that fall under the Toxic Substances Control Act TSCA. Are humans chemicals? Some 60 chemical elements are found in the body. But what all of them are doing there is still unknown. Roughly 96% of the mass of the human body is made up of just four elements, oxygen, carbon, hydrogen and nitrogen, with a lot of that in the form of water. How do chemicals affect our environment? Chemicals can enter the environment from many different sources such as a landfills, incinerators, tanks, drums, or factories. Human exposure to hazardous chemicals can occur at the source or the chemical could move to a place where people can come into contact with it. Chemicals can move through air, soil, and water. Consequences Toxic chemical spills can cause immediate, short-term devastation to the environment and anyone exposed to the substances. However, much more insidious is the long-term effects of chemical pollution which can harm those far away from the initial source of contamination and over a much longer period. Causes and Effects Chemical Pollution Causes The presence of hundreds of potentially toxic chemical substances in the environment, generally caused by human activity, is the cause of chemical pollution. These pollutants contaminate the water, soil, air and food. Different Types there are 10 substances that cause the most concern, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, volatile organic compounds, vox, particulates, nitrogen oxides, ozone, chlorofluorocarbons, unburned hydrocarbons and lead and heavy metals. Interesting facts. However, there are many other sources of water chemical pollution, including transportation, agriculture, 
power plants, as well as household chemicals such as detergents. In fact, the waste streams from chemical industry are now strictly controlled and treated before being released into the environment. Please give comment and suggestions. Thank you. Subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thank for visit our channel. See you next class. Thank you.